Hi, welcome children. First, welcome all the grade 10 English medium children to EMS Education YouTube channel. Right, today I am going to explain, if not I am going to teach unit 12 of the grade 10 science. Unit 12 of the grade 10 science. Right, what is the unit 12 of the grade 10 science? The unit 12 of the grade 10 science is equilibrium of force. Equilibrium of force. Right, under this topic, you will be able to learn about firstly what is mean by equilibrium of force what is mean by equilibrium of force after that you have to learn how to equilibrium of an object how to equilibrium the of an object under this topic you have to learn about how to equilibrium the of an object by the two forces and how to equilibrium the of an object under three parallel forces and how to equilibrium the object and three forces that are not parallel right okay let's go to learn about today our topic before going to uh, learn about the today our topic don't forget to subscribe like and share my youtube channel right enam pute api den ena katha karanne yamu mokadda me equilibrium kiyanne kiyala balanna ko mena me equilibrium ek gana katha karana api den ena katha karanne yana pute equilibrium ek gana mena balanna ko equilibrium equilibrium of forces equilibrium of force then balanna pute mena me equilibrium of force ek gena api katha karanna kalin api issellama balamu ko mena me roopa tika poddak balanna ko den api gattoth ehema object ekak tiyena pute menna me widiyata den hitan object ekak menna me widiyata tiyena right there is a object like that right in the on this object there is a force exerted on this direction and also another force exerted on that direction right now think about the force exerted into this direction is known as f1 force exerted into this direction is known as f2 right now think about what will happen if f2 is greater than f1 if f2 is greater than f1 this object is move into this direction no into this direction and also what will happen if f2 is less than f1 then what will happen then this object is move into this direction no into this direction right then we will go to our next one next one is what will happen if if f2 is equal f1 what will happen if f2 is equal f1 right on this situation this, this object is become into rest this object is become into rest right like that situation is known as equilibrium like that situation is known as equilibrium right okay now you can understand simply what is mean by equilibrium no what is mean by equilibrium right what is mean by equilibrium the equilibrium means right equilibrium means object becomes rest object become rest if not <clears throat> right before learn about the equilibrium what is mean by equilibrium we will go to our next picture also next diagram also right now think about now there is a object there is a object on the table like that there is a object on the table like that <clears throat> this is the table this is the table right okay this is the table right there is an object on this table right then what will happen what are the forces ex exerted here the one of the forces exerted here is downward downward like that right this downward force is known as weight 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 and also opposite to the weight exerted like that force what is that force? That force is known as <clears throat> normal reaction. 
that force is known as normal reaction right normal reaction no right what will happen if reaction is greater than weight if reaction is greater than weight object go upward no and also if reaction is less than weight this object move to downward right so now think about if reaction is equal to the w if reaction is equal to the w this object become rest this object become rest this situation is known as this situation is known as equilibrium no this situation is known as equilibrium right now we have learned about what is mean by equilibrium what is mean by equilibrium right right okay then we will go to learn about we have to learn under this topic different situation in the equilibrium now when we consider about the equilibrium of an object equilibrium of an object <clears throat> object maintain its equilibrium in the different methods in the, in the different methods but under this topic we have to learn about how to equilibrium of an object under three situation under three situation right one of them is equilibrium of an object under two forces equilibrium of an object of an object under two force under two force right after that we have learned <clears throat> equilibrium of an object under three parallel force three parallel force right after that we have learned about <clears throat> equilibrium of an object under three forces under three forces that are not parallel that are not parallel that are not parallel right okay right let's go to learn about equilibrium of an object under two forces right let's go to learn about equilibrium of a body under two forces right for this now look at this one right now when we consider about this picture two forces act on the either side no right here exerted force is think about f1 here force is f2 what will happen in previously also we have learned about this condition eh? f1 and f2 f1 and f2 right then to equilibrium of this object what are the condition that should be satisfied the first condition that should be satisfied is f1 should be equal to the f2 f1 should be equal to the the first condition is f1 should be equal to the f2 if not if f1 is greater than the f2 this object move into the f1 direction so and also f2 is greater than to the f1 this object is move the direction to the f2 direction right for the equilibrium the first condition is the f1 should be equal to the f2 the second condition the second condition the direction of the f1 opposite to the direction of the f2 the direction of the of the f1 opposite to the direction of the f2 the third one is these two force act on the same line same line act on the same line right those are the condition that should be satisfied an object under the two forces right again we will go to next picture now think about this object also acted two forces no one of them is weight the another one is perpendicular reaction right for the equilibrium of this object what are the condition that should be satisfied 
the first one is the weight of the object should be equal to the perpendicular reaction perpendicular reaction the magnitude of the weight should be equal to the magnitude of the perpendicular reaction this is the first condition <coughs> that uh, that first condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object so what is the second condition the second condition is the direction of the weight should be opposite to the direction of the perpendicular reaction the direction of the weight should be opposite to the direction of the perpendicular reaction right so what is the third condition third condition is these two forces act on the same line same line now you can observe this one the weight and perpendicular reaction act on the same line no this is also a necessary condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object right now we have learnt about three condition must be satisfied to equilibrium of an object under the two forces right again we will go to next diagram also there is a object that hand no right after hand the weight of the object act on the downward and tension is created on the thread right for the equilibrium of this object three condition must be satisfied the first one is <coughs> the weight should be equal to the tension this is the first condition the second one is the direction of the weight must be opposite to the direction of the tension the third one is the tension and weight must be act on the same line act on the same line so under these three condition this object is equilibrium right now then we will go to learn about again consider what are the condition that should be satisfied equilibrium of an object under the two forces right now look at here for an object to maintain in equilibrium under the two forces under the two forces the following conditions must be satisfied the following condition must be satisfied right now we have already learned about what are the condition that should be satisfied an object to equilibrium under the two forces right the first one is the forces must have equal magnitudes the two forces must have equal magnitudes the second one is the two forces must, must act along two opposite direction the two forces must act the two forces must act along two opposite direction along two opposite direction so what is the third condition it is also we already have learned right doesn't matter right again we will see what is the third condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of an object this one is both forces must lie along the same line of action both forces must lie along the same line of action right those are the condition three condition that should be satisfied to an object to, to be equilibrium equilibrium right then we will go to learn about equilibrium of a body under three coplanar parallel forces right another way of equilibrium of an object what is that equilibrium of a body under three coplanar parallel forces under three coplanar parallel forces right now you can see this picture right here acted three forces how to act the three forces here here contain one forces here contain one forces upward and here contain one forces downward here contain weight of the object like that downward here contain tension to the upward tension to the upward tension to the upward right those are the three forces act on this object those are the three forces act on this object right what are the condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object under these three forces right okay then we will go to learn about our next picture before learned about the condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object right okay let's go to our next diagram right now think about next diagram also there is a 
three forces. Now what are the the weight of this object at downward? Right. There are two points that prevented. On the prevented point, there is a true reaction. This one is R1. This one is R2. R1 and R2. Right here also created three forces. No. What are the three forces created here? R1, R2, weight. What are the condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object under these three forces? Right. Okay. It's also we will later after the next diagram after the next diagram. So now we have identified two fixtures that created three forces. No, three forces. Right. But we didn't learn yet what are the conditions that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object under the three forces. Under the three forces. Right. Now you can look this picture. Here also created three forces. No, F1, F2, and weight. Weight. Those are the three forces acted on this object. What are the conditions that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object? Now think about. Now I will explain what are the conditions that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object. Right. Now think about for the equilibrium. F1 plus. F1 plus. F2 should be equal to the weight. F1 plus F2 should be equal to the weight. This is the first condition of this object that should be satisfied to equilibrium of this object. It means the two forces, if not the sum of the two forces, must be equal to the must be equal to the third force. Third force, right? And also, what is the second condition? Second condition is direction of the F1 and F1 and F2 is a forward, no, a forward, and also direction of the W is downward. This is also a condition. What is that condition? The direction of the two force, the direction of the two force must be opposite to the third force must be opposite to the third force right third condition is these three forces must act on if not coplane coplane what is the coplane what is the coplane three forces must be coplane coplane means act on the same plane coplane means act on the same plane right now we have learned about the three factors that should be satisfied an object to equilibrium under the three parallel forces. For this, firstly, these three forces must be coplanar, and also the sum of the two forces must be, if not resultant of the two forces, must be equal to the second force. Third one is the direction of the two force should be opposite to the direction of the one force. Right? Okay. Then we will go to learn about. What are the conditions that should be satisfied to equilibrium of an object under the three parallel force again? Right. For an object to maintain equilibrium under the action of three parallel forces, the following condition must be satisfied. So we will go to learn what are the these conditions we already have learned. The first one is the three forces must be coplanar. The three forces must be coplanar. What is the coplanar? The coplanar means the acting on the same plane. The acting on the same plane. It means these three forces must be act on the same plane. Same plane, right? Then we will go to second condition. The second condition is one force must have a direction opposite to the other two forces. One force must have a direction. Opposite to the other two forces. Now, when we consider about the picture we have seen previously, weight act on the downward, and F1 and F2 act to on act on the upward. It means the weight of the direction act on the downward. Other direction of the other forces act on the upward. No, one force must have a direction opposite to the other two forces. One force must have a direction opposite to the other two forces. 
right then we will go to learn about third condition the resultant of any two forces must be equal in magnitudes the resultant of any two forces any two forces must be equal in magnitudes and opposite in the direction of the third force as example the sum of the f1 and f2 is the resultant of the two force no must be equal to the third force third force third force is w third force is weight but direction is opposite but direction is op opposite the direction of the f1 and f2 is upward the direction of the weight is downward right okay now we have learnt about the condition condition must be satisfied to an object to be equilibrium under the three parallel forces no the first one we have learnt is the three forces must be coplanar the second one we have learnt is one force must have a direction opposite to the other two forces the third one we have learnt is the resultant of any two forces must be equal in magnitudes and opposite in direction to the third force right then we will go to our next topic right what is our next topic right let's see what is our next topic our next topic is equilibrium of a body under three forces that are not parallel right now we are going to learn about how to equilibrium the object under the three forces that are not parallel in previously we have learned about how to equilibrium the object under the two forces and what are the condition after that we have learned about how to equilibrium the of an object under the three parallel forces and what are the condition that should be satisfied right now we are going to learn about the equilibrium of a body under three forces that are not parallel equilibrium of a body under three forces that are not parallel right now look at this picture right here act at the f1 force no here at the f2 force weight act on the downward right now may the picture on your wall hand like that way no hand like that way here the picture is become equilibrium it is not moved to the other another side right what are the condition that should be satisfied here the three forces are not parallel here the three forces are not parallel right to be the equilibrium under this situation what are the condition that should be satisfied what are the condition that should be satisfied right okay let's go to learn about what are the condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium object like that way if not equilibrium of an object under the three non parallel forces non parallel forces the first one is the three forces must be coplanar right now when we consider about the our previous picture we have seen f1 f2 and w should be coplanar coplanar means act on the same plane act on the same plane coplanar means act on the same plane right second one the lines of action the lines of action of the three forces must meet at a common point right what is that it means now think about now when we consider about this diagram this diagram represent like that no right this object hand like that here act f1 force here contain f2 force here contain weight what is this the line of action line of action of the three forces must meet must meet at common point it means now when we consider about the if this is the f1 force this is the f1 force f2 force act on like that weight weight act on the downward no weight act on downward like that weight act on downward it means if these three forces act on the same point same point the line of action of the three forces must meet at a common point now we have learned about second 
point also no right then we will go to learn about our next one our next one is the resultant of any two force t sorry two of the forces should be equal to the third force in magnitudes and opposite in direction in the previous point also we have learned that like that condition no the resultant of any two forces the resultant of any two forces now you know what is the resultant the resultant of any two forces should be equal to the third force should be equal to the third force in magnitudes and the opposite in direction right opposite in right now we have learned about under the equilibrium of an object equilibrium of an force we have learned about what is mean by equilibrium no we have learned about what is mean by equilibrium right after that we have learned about equilibrium of an object under the two forces and also we have learned about what are the condition that should be satisfied to an object to be equilibrium under the two forces what are they the first one is the two forces must be equal in magnitudes the two forces must be equal in magnitudes and also the second condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of an object under the two forces is under the two forces is the direction of the one force the direction of the one force must be opposite to the must be opposite to the direction of the another force direction of the another force right after that we have learned about the third condition the third condition is the the two forces must act on the same line same line those are the condition that should be satisfied to an object to be equilibrium under the two forces right after that we have learned about the equilibrium of an object under the three parallel forces equilibrium of an object under the three parallel forces right in under this topic also we have learned about what are the condition that should be satisfied to to be a equilibrium of an object under the three parallel forces the first condition what is the first condition the first condition was the coplanar the three forces must be coplanar we have learned about what is the coplanar you know right what is the coplanar the coplanar means acting on the same plane the coplanar means acting on the same plane right after that we have learned about the second condition the second condition the resultant of the any true force the resultant of the any true force <coughs> the resultant of the any true force must be equal to the third force must be equal to the third force and direction should be opposite the direction should be opposite no right and also third one is the sum of the third two force if not the direction of the two force must be different to the third force the direction of the two force must be different to the third force if not opposite to the third force right those are the condition that should be satisfied an object to be equilibrium under the three parallel force right after that we have learned about equilibrium of an object under the three forces that are not parallel no equilibrium of an object under the three forces that are not parallel under this topic also we have learned about what are the condition that should be satisfied here what are the condition that should be satisfied here right here also the first condition is coplanar the three forces must be coplanar coplanar means coplanar means act on the same plane coplanar means act on the same plane right after that we have learned about the second condition what is the second condition the second condition is the three forces must be meet at the one point the three forces must be meet at the one point after that we have learned about the third condition that should be satisfied to equilibrium of an object under the three forces that are not parallel what is the third condition the third condition is the resultant of the any two force the resultant of the any two force <coughs> must be 
equal in magnitude to the third force and opposite in direction right what is the third condition the resultant of any two force the resultant of any two force <coughs> equal to the third force in magnitude equal to the third force in magnitude and opposite in the direction opposite in the direction right okay now we have learned about unit 12 of the grade 10 science in my next video i will explain unit 13 of the grade 10 science right okay right have a nice day